Good day, hikers, and welcome to the 2020 Hike the Hounds Virtual Festival. My name is Tom Wilson, and I'll be your host today. Today's topic is Walk a Thousand Miles. This is a program that was started four years ago by Country Walking Magazine in UK. I was attracted to this program when I saw this byline that says, do something incredible in 2020. Uh, this, was, this would be my second year in retirement and I said, why not? So I started looking and, and got to know more information about this program. So Walk the Thousand Miles Challenge, it, in layman terms, is you, you can do this in 12 months by averaging 2.74 miles a day or 4.36 kilometers a day. Um, it's important that you develop a routine and stick with it. And I've learned that from, from the months that I've been involved in this program. And you definitely feel an amazing difference in uh, physically as well as mentally. Um, it's brought to you, of course, by, by the magazine, Country Walking Magazine, and supported by some of the biggest outdoor brands. The Walking Challenge started in 20, 2016 and has 10,000 participants from around the world. A Facebook group page uh, provides great support and encouragement, and I totally agree with that. I'm amazed at how good that the Facebook page is. Everybody's positive and everybody provides incentive and motivation to keep going. So well done. So why walk a thousand miles? Well, there's a definitely to improve your physical and mental health and that definitely what this program has done. Um, and with COVID-19, I think it's really important that, that it deals with both of those issues. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that it keeps me keeps everybody sane, and I, and I agree with that. Um, another benefit, of course, is you will definitely lose a little bit of weight. Um, you will spend more time in nature, and hopefully do more adventure trips. Your your happiness will be uh, definitely an improvement, and knowing that you're doing this challenge and your focus that will help improve your your lifestyle as well and it's great for families and fun so definitely a lot of benefits for participating in this program uh, a little bit about the journey and this is my journey um january and february were learning months um, i soon found out that walking every day was a little too much uh, so I learned that by taking rest days, I could actually improve my mileage. So I looked at a goal of 50 miles a week, which a good, was a good average to strive for. Um, in February, I planned to go, sorry, in February, I was uh, booking my trip to go to Scotland to do two long distance hikes, the Great Glen Way and the Spicey Way which are part of the 15 national uh, trails in, in UK. And so I was really looking forward to that. But when COVID-19 came out, that was, that was it. I, it was too risky. And um, I was really glad that I, that I kept with this program, Walk a Thousand Miles, and that would be my long distance hike for the years. Um, I found that as, as the temperatures rose in the summer months, June, July, and August, they were harder um, because of heat and humidity. And so what I did was I walked only in the mornings. So this just gives you a little rundown of, of the months and the mileage that I do each month. And January and February were the learning months. I soon, after it's funny, I, my mileage went up after I started taking more rest days. And um, so you can see that my best month was the month of May. And um, uh, July was my worst month uh, and as well um, in August. 
and June was just a little better than, than the first two. But I reached 1,000 miles in May 20th, uh, 2020, and I was really pleased with that. I never expected to reach 1,000 miles that early in the year, so I was proud of my accomplishments. Um, I had a lot of family and friends uh, behind me and continued to um, motivate me and say, you should go a little bit further. And so the next goal was 1,500 miles. And I reached that uh, on August the 14th. I did 1,511 miles that, 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 that day. And I was a little bit behind schedule in, in the big picture, but um, I was pleased with my results to date, especially with those warm temperatures and high humidity. Um, I was noticing in the Facebook group page of the Walk a Thousand Mile Challenge that many hikers were just starting to walk 20, 20 miles in 2020 to remember this year. So I'm going to continue with that goal and I expect to reach the 2020 miles by the end of October. Um, I can already feel the cooler temperatures and fall breezes in September. So I, I feel comfortable that I'm going to reach this goal. Um, so 2020 miles is 3,232 kilometers. Just think of it, last year I did from April, to December, 1,060 kilometers. So I'm almost doing three times the work this year. So um, it's gonna be a major accomplishment. Will I do it again in the future? Um, it's hard to tell, but I definitely wanna do 1,000 miles again in uh, 2021. So it's nice to feel a part of the thousand mile club. Surprisingly, many walkers and hikers have done this in consecutive years and some all four years. I lost count how many people have reached a thousand miles to date. And as well, a number have reached 1500 and yes, there's been quite a few that have reached 2000 miles. So there, there's some pretty dedicated and commitment uh, committed walkers out there and um, you should be very proud of your achievement. Not a lot of people can do this and um, 2,000 miles is a major accomplishment. So well done walkers. Um, the Walk 1,000 Miles Challenge has some really unique uh, merchandise out there. Uh, to the right is the progress tracker where you can keep track of your miles and also how many counties you've done in in UK. Um, I went with a, I went with a sorry a spreadsheet. Um, I just found it easier, um, but it's a great way to keep track of things. Um, there's fridge magnets. There's bumper stickers. There's neck warmers. There's stickers, gift card, completer medals, which you've seen earlier, 2020 badge, T-shirts and uh, the progress chart, and of course, the um, Country Walking Magazine. The website, if you want to look and get more information on this uh, unique uh, challenge, is walk1000miles.co.uk. And one of the nice things that I found with walkers is that after they, uh, they reach their big milestones, they're buying something. I've seen them buy uh, hiking socks, um, hiking boots, walking poles, day packs, which is really nice because I think you should reward yourself, especially after reaching those milestones. So well done, hikers. Um, the last couple of years, I've, I've bought the Country Walking Magazine. Um, I generally just buy it digitally um, because it, it takes... Uh, two to three weeks to get here from UK. So digitally, I just get it in my email and, and I get it. Um, it's in a very informative magazine. It's probably one of the best hiking magazines out there. It includes walks near you and, and the OS, or sorry, OS maps, gear reviews, national parks, mountains, uh, a lot of the, the uh, peaks, a lot of the three 
uh, three peaks sort of mountains, nature reserves, and much more. You can buy the digital magazine from xenal.com, that's the US, or xenal.com forward slash CA, that's the Canadian version, or you can get it from greatmagazines.cl.uk in Great Britain. Um, a great way to look at your magazine, I, when in Canada, I think it's anywhere between, it's probably something close to $6 and something uh, to buy digitally, and that includes tax. So you definitely want to look at that. So in conclusion, I want to thank everybody uh, for joining us and hope that you enjoy the presentation and video and get and that you got to know more about this Walk a Thousand Miles Challenge. So on behalf of the Hike the Highlands Fest Society, thanks for joining us tonight. and. Um, and being a part of our virtual hiking festival. Thank you.